who is Maribel and why is she unique within her family? Maribel is a 15 year old member of a family of three generations. And she is at that age where she's trying to understand how she fits in within a family that everyone has a magical gift. And she's the only kid who didn't get a magical gift. And for her, she's trying to understand that piece of it. And I think what I love about this character is she is, she's incredibly lovable. Her heart is always in the right place. She's trying so hard, but she's also a bit flawed because she's trying to figure out something that um, she's going to learn is all internal uh, and that she already knows herself over the course of the film. Explain how filmmakers determine what these special gifts might be and how they connect to people or family members we all know. So there was a lot of thought given to what would the gifts be for these family members. Um, and, and it really was trying to figure out how do we use these gifts in a way that are gonna help tell the story. So each family member has a gift that helps support this community. Might be the gift of strength, could be the gift of putting beautiful flowers around. It can be the gift of, of being able to see the future or a gift of being able to shape shift into different uh, people to help solve problems in the moment in time. But what we needed to do is figure out how do we make that relatable because in our world, People don't have those magical gifts. Uh, and so what we really did was dive into what are sort of those characteristics of families. There's always the character, the, the, the person who's the strong one of the family, the, the kind of rock of the family. There's the one who's the golden child who everything seems to be perfect for. There's the one who uh, can, can hear everything, a little bit of the gossip of the family, or the one who sees, thinks they can see the future, but has always seen something in the negative side of things, or the one who's the healer, or the one who's the emotional one. So we really tried to put it into those areas where people could relate directly to it and say, I feel I am most like that individual. And it's not about their gift, it's truly about what they represent within this family. I'm gonna to come to you one more time, Clark. Describe how family is a key theme in this film and how we see each other and how we are seen. Family is at the core of this film and it always was. From the very beginning, Byron and Jared talked about wanting to tell a story about family uh, and knowing what an important part that is within the culture of Latin America and, and obviously within the country of Colombia. It is at the core of this film. It, it's a three generation family that all lives within one house where everyone is, is, has their part within the family. And for Mirabelle, she's the one character who didn't get a gift. She's trying to figure out how she belongs within this family. And I think what the film explores is the fact that we all think we know our family members, but we actually probably don't unless we've spent time asking them questions. And, and it really is about perspective and understanding. And over the course of the film, we learn a lot more about these characters that is under the surface, things that they haven't been expressing uh, outwardly. And that's the journey that Mirabel goes on. And from that, the family becomes stronger. And I think that really is the theme of the film is, is through perspective and understanding, we become stronger as a family. How is the house actually a character in this story? And what were the guidelines regarding how its magic actually works? Just like the character of the water in Moana, which is a character, the house in Encanto is also a character. And from the beginning, the directors talked about the fact that they thought this would be an incredible way to bring this house to life in animation. Uh, but the complications of it are you have to think about, well, how, how do you do that? Uh, they wanted truth in materials. They wanted to make sure it felt very real, that it was that any movement that happened within the house could actually happen within a house, that it would be about floorboards and tiles and shelves moving. It wouldn't be about bending something that can't actually bend. So that requires a lot of work on our teams to come together to figure out how do you actually animate that? How do you rig the prop or the, or the, or the, the, um, property to actually be able to move that way. So there was an incredible amount of work done in it. But then you also have to think, how does that fit within the story? And I think that was the thing we spent a lot of time thinking about, which was if the house is alive, is the house uh, antagonist? Is the house in support of? Is the house sometimes in support of and sometimes against? Is the house giving advice? Uh, and so that was really the nuance we always tried to figure out to make sure that the audience would believe um, that this house was doing things for the right reasons and fall in love with it. Because that's the ultimate goal is to make sure the audience falls in love with the house as a character. And I think the, the team has done an incredible job and I'm excited for people to see it. 
Street. Clark, how does Encanto represent the evolution of the Walt Disney Animation Studios? Encanto is the 60th animated feature from Walt Disney Animation Studios, which is a, a pretty incredible thing to think about that 60, 60 animated feature films have been made over the course of 98 years. And I, as a piece of that, Encanto is both a reflection of the past and of the future, I think. With respect to the, the future and it representing the future of, of Disney animation, animated films for that in general, it's really tapping into what we can do technically today. I mean, this film is stunningly visual when you see these characters and the, the diversity of the characters and the diversity of the hair and the textures and the layering of the cloth, all things we couldn't have done. Uh, in the past. Really, it's showing where we have come as a studio technically. It's also talking about thematically things that are important in today's world, which is family, which has always been important, but understanding and perspective within a family. And if you're a character who believes somehow you don't belong, what does that mean? And how do you figure out how, who you are in a way that, it, that is, um, you know, that is, that, that feels uh, great and that you have an understanding of that.